Hi, Jesse Grimes here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick introduction to my next permaculture project. This is a small suburban backyard in Orange, California, uh, which is near Los Angeles. So this is a Mediterranean climate, and uh, it's just a pretty typical backyard. Uh, this does happen to be the house that my partner Shelby grew up in, so we're very familiar with this backyard. We're very familiar with the wildlife that's here, the plants that are here. So I'm really looking forward to this project. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let me just give you a short little tour of the backyard, show you what we have currently and what we have to work with and give you a bit of a before picture before I start working on it. So as you can see, it's a relatively small backyard. The house takes up most of the lot. We do have this little small room back here which she's interested in renting out to a college student. Um, there's a couple of existing trees. There's this big paper birch as well as this podocarthus back here. That's a nitrogen fixer. But it does have to be trimmed quite a bit, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, there's this really lovely vines along the wall here, as well as a lot of uh, existing bushes on this mound by the paper birch, as well as those bougainvilleas along the wall back there. And there's also a whole bunch of these jade plants and other succulents. A lot of them are in pots currently, and we're going to try to get rid of those pots and get them in the ground. Uh, there's a bit of a fire pit area here with some decomposed granite. There's a bit of uh, brick edging around the yard as well. And there's this one uh, garden bed which Shelby and her mom built last year out of recycled doors. It's a, it's a nice space, it's nice and high, but it is starting to, de to uh, disintegrate a little bit, so we have to deal with that. Really lovely rosemary plant right here. Now we've got quite a big roof area here, which collects a lot of water. Most of which comes out this V right here. Um, currently there's a bit of gutter you can see up there. It's trying to get that water off to the side of the house so it can, it can drain away. But that gutter is not quite, there's not quite enough drop and it gets broken a lot. So the water ends up coming off of this porch right in front of the door, which is not a good thing. It's causing some damage. So we're going to have to deal with that. There's also a bit of a drainage issue and that the yard generally slopes towards the porch and collects water right here when it does rain. So that's something we're going to have to deal with as well. So there used to be a lawn back here, but Shelby's mom hasn't watered it in many years. She doesn't really want to have a lawn. She doesn't want to have to keep mowing it. And she doesn't want to have to use all that water. So that's something we're going to have to think about is replacing this with something that looks nice and doesn't take a lot of maintenance or a lot of water. So in general, there's, there's a whole lot for us to work with back here. Um, most of the landscape's already done. We just kind of want to do a remodel, revamp it, make it look nice again. Um, my goal with this is to kind of show you how we can apply permaculture principles and some of the ecological landscaping practices to a landscape that you might not think was ecological at first. It just is going to look like a normal landscape. But we can use these techniques and these principles to not only give us a nice, enjoyable, beautiful space, but help the environment around us capture water, build soil, build habitat for some of the animals and the wildlife around here. So I hope you'll follow along as I make these videos and do this project. Um, if you do enjoy the videos and you would like to become a patron, please go out to patreon.com slash jessegrimes. As always, like and subscribe to the videos, and I'll see you in the next one.